Welcome back, guys. Today we're going to be taking a test drive in a 1966 Mustang convertible. This one's got a 289 under the hood. Pretty smooth running motor. Sweet little ride. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. We post cars almost every day. And yes, we are real. Some people think we're not a real company, but we are. We sell cars all the time, pretty much daily. We get in 10 cars every Monday. And we post them right here on YouTube. Check us out, maplemotors.com. You can see all of our inventory, financing, and shipping is available. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, let's look around the interior. Go ahead and place your bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? The dash looks nice and clean. The carpet could use some repairs. You see it's kind of ripped there. Probably just install some new carpet in this one. Seats are not in bad shape. Interior looks pretty good. I brought a chamois. I actually drove this car home last night because I was out getting ready to do a video and they locked the lot up on me. I was like, well, I guess that's my ride home now. I figured I'd do it first thing this morning and it's trying to sprinkle on me. We'll go ahead and drop that top and um, see if it works, get her started up too, so. Does start up good. I notice when it was cold, the belt was squeaking. Uh, that went away shortly after I started it. The radio is not cutting on. Lower motor. I don't think it's working either. I don't feel anything. Horn. No spring in there. Wipers. They do work. We need those. At least for right now. Oh, you can play the game. Stop them anywhere you want. Oh, I almost got it to the bottom. There. Ah. That's close enough. <laughs> We'll go ahead and drop the top. Doesn't look like it's sprinkling too bad out there. It kind of stopped for a second. That's a good thing. Top here. Oh yeah. Take off. Sweet. So we got the top down there. Um, I'm gonna put these out. We'll go ahead and roll down all the windows real quick. See, a little stiff there about this back one that one feels good that one's down it wasn't bad this one oh my goodness i know there's a handle there we go have to tighten that up when we get back well it looks like that one's off track i got it all the way down yeah it's off track you can see the track coming up in there pushing back up on the window so what we'll do is we'll Roll it down a little bit. I need to get an Allen wrench and tighten that up. I didn't know that fell off, but come down with this a little bit too. I'll leave it up a little bit. Okay. First, I'm gonna do my outside shots here, but we'll hit the road and uh, I'll uh, add that to the video. Good deal. Let's see how she drives.
Okay, so far so good. Just keep rolling out of here. Still trying to sprinkle on us, but it's not too bad. I noticed the carburetor's got a flat spot. Try to do that again. It gets right past it. It's just initially when you hit the throttle, it's got a little bit of a flat spot to it. See, like that. We'll try it again after we get past this guy. That's it. We get on the brakes here. The brakes stop really well. That flat spot. Turn signal wise, I think the switch is either out or the bulbs are out because I don't hear the flashing. I don't see the lights popping up on the dash on either side gauge wise temp gauge is not working oil pressure's broke it's all the way up gas gauge is all the way to the left it's not working showing 55,000 miles of course with these classics you know you can't stand behind it without paperwork there's that flat spot tell you what it seems like it does better if you just get into the gas instead of just easing into it but I like easing into it. So that's easing into it right there. Gassing it. Just skips right over. Speedo's coming up. Looks like it's working. Seems to be pretty correct. About 40, 45, what we're running right now. Steering, got a little bit of slack. See that? If I let go of the steering wheel, it does have a slight right pull. Let's get straight again. So you end up over there. It's gonna be a little bit different of a video today. We'll have one long drive through here. I'm trying to work that out. Motor's pulling pretty good though. give it like a six or seven out of ten fairly smooth all right still gonna use my signals even though they're not popping up on the dash in here, they very well are, could be working in the back. We need to check that too, see if they're flashing back there. Got like a flasher went out in one of my cars and I haven't replaced it yet, so I have to manually flash it all the time. <laughs> my wife thinks it's hilarious.
love these back roads on the way back to my house. I thought many times to go ahead and just do a drive video all the way back here. It's a 15 minute drive all the way to the back. Picked up, shifter down one. close to the lot now we're on the back road by the church the church is right on the other side of that hill to get y'all familiarized where we're at see if that flat spot's still there it is but it's getting better I need to drive this a lot put some miles on it start helping it out one it's got that little bit of a flat spot I'm pretty sure it can be driven out uh, steering's got a little bit of slack in it seems to be steering all right just a little bit of slack brakes feel good your gauges you're gonna need a temp gauge and an oil pressure and a gas gauge speedos working um, and you have to work on your flashers there's no blower motor other than that you got some cosmetic issues on the outside a little bit of a squeaky belt we're going to go over all the flaws on the outside we're getting ready to get back to the lot right now so once we pull up there we'll go ahead and start doing the uh, walk around of this car you know point out chips scratches dents any kind of rust anything i see that way you're informed to know ex everything about this car. We advertise as being an honest dealer and that's what we're gonna provide. So let's go ahead and walk around this car, and open the trunk up, hopefully beat the rain so I can get this done right. If it starts raining, I'm gonna have to take it, put it under cover. All right. Let's do this. Okay, let's get started here. We're gonna be pointing out all the flaws. Got a nice clean engine bay. Does it look 
look too bad at all. You can see they painted on the, uh, the brakes back there. Let's see. Nice and clean under the hood. Let's walk around this car. I'm gonna be looking for any kind of rust chips, scratches. The door, if you shut it soft, shut it firm, it works pretty good, but it knocked my handle off again. Gotta get that clip put in it. I got the trunk open, so we'll go ahead and start there. I noticed the seal on this one has some, they put some glue on it, but maybe not the right type of glue for that and it's falling off down here. You see the jams are in good shape. Trunk itself, not bad. A little dirty, but be cleaned up. Or you could get a nice mat, put it over it. Okay, coming down with the trunk lid. That was a soft shut. We're gonna shoot down the lower portions first. Get up close. See, it's got a little bit of separation back there. Definitely picked up some dirt. Good tires, American racing wheels. The back sides are nice and clean too, so I'd say they're fairly new. You definitely have to take the wheel off to uh, clean the back side of these. Get chipped at the bottom of your door. clips there. Got some chips there. Put it down the side. Little spot on your fender there. Door handles. Showing signs of a little bit of age. It can be cleaned up. Spot in the paint there. Stripe. There's a gap in your trunk too. A nice gap in your trunk lid. Leftover wax on top of the fender. The top looks great. You can tell a lot about the age of the top by the back window on these. And this one's nice and clear. Trim's got some scratches up front. And your seal around the window there has got some cracks in it. Coming around the front end. A little oxidized on your trim. Just a couple little scratches by the tag there. Come up over the fender. Down the side, you got some chips there. There's a chip here as well. Line. Chip right there. And a chip in the back here. Come about the midsection. A little scuff, chip there. I showed that one. Top of the door there. Panel in the back here is weak.
keep running the outside of the store. The chip there. Trim's got a few little spots. Okay, start her up once again. Looks like you got some glue, the same glue they used for the weather stripping in the back. Belt's pretty squeaky on this one. Uh, yes, he's in the office. Which one is y'all in the office? Here or over here? Over there. Hood's a little bit loose there. Needs to be realigned. You can see it's coming close right there to the edge. This side's got the gap. The car used to be red, at least on this fender. Sitting high in the corner there. Okay. All right, we made it all the way around this ride. Check out my detailed pictures. You can see that at maplemotors.com. And then of course next week we got some more cars coming in you can compare to this one uh just kind of giving you a heads up all right i appreciate you watching i hope you enjoyed it and thanks again guys i'll see you in the next video